Well, I must say I hadn't known a lot about Uppsala University, uh, but on the way up here, uh, the student who was uh, accompanying me explained about it and some of the long, uh, very long history uh, and tradition of scholarship here. And I've learned about a number of Nobel laureates who have been associated with the university and also that uh, there have been 20 graduates of the university who have won the Nobel Prize. So obviously this is one of the premier foremost universities uh, in Sweden and I'm uh, delighted to have the opportunity to uh, visit and to stand in this room surrounded by remarkable artworks. It's, uh, I think, one of the major universities in Sweden, so uh, it was fairly natural that, that we would come here. And I understand that it's a, it's a tradition for the Nobel laureates, so I was pleased to do it. Uh, and I, I think if you are being generously hosted in Stockholm, it would be uh, ungracious to say I don't have time to come to a, a town nearby, so it would be uh, interesting and uh, appropriate, I hope, to come here. Of course, they could say I'm wasting everybody's time, but I hope that's not felt to be the case. Of course, it's very important that we have the Nobel laureates here as guests and they're giving lectures. And I particularly, I would say, it's important for our students that get the possibility to listen to the Nobel laureates, but also ask questions to be inspired for the future and maybe inspired for their own coming research and maybe they will become the future Nobel laureates. It was just great to, to see him and to listen to his great, really great lecture. He's a really inspiring person who really, wow, his talking was just great. So I was really pleased to be here to, to see that. And of course, it's also important for us, our visibility in the world. And as you know, we have several former alumni that are, that are Nobel laureates. So it's so important for Uppsala University, this event. Uh, yesterday, uh, I gave a lecture, uh, somewhat different slides, to a high school uh, class and they weren't even the seniors they were just the freshmen and the sophomores uh, so I had to sort of bring the material even down another level but I, I had a very good time with them as well I'm here today because as an exchange student I will only get the chance to see um, a lecture with an actual Nobel Prize winner for once in my life I'm a chemistry student and um, since I was a child I really love all this world around the Nobel Prize and one of my dreams is to get one, one day to, to win one Nobel Prize and uh, yes, it's a really amazing opportunity for me because I'm from Spain and I'm doing one semester here of classes so I think it's a really good opportunity to get to take profit about this. For an American it's an unusually old university so a 500 year old university is quite remarkable. I uh, I'm just moving from Harvard University to Stanford, but Harvard is the oldest American university and it will become 400 years old only in another 20 years or so. It's magnificent. It's both traditional and very modern. And I know, I understand our emperor in Japan came to visit this university to receive an honorable degree. So it's a great honor for me to be here. I think, I think it was excellent. I mean, you can see that, that it takes quite a lot of time uh, to achieve something big and, and to give something back to, uh, to, to the society. And I think this is a really great example that it, it may take up to 30 years, a couple of decades, and then we have all these great pharmaceutical products that in the end really helps people to save life, actually. Right. Well, the Nobel Prize makes, I would say, science in Sweden visible all around the world and, and also Uppsala University, so it's, it's very important. It's amazing how big this prize has become all over the world. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do when I get home is sleep uh, for several days because this has been an amazingly exhausting uh, 10 days. We've been on the go uh, almost continuously, but I've had a remarkably uh, enjoyable experience the last 10 days here in Sweden. Needless to say, something I'll never forget.